Another North Texas suburb has grown like crazy. One Google search and you'll see that this city has grown by 1,000% in population since 2000. I bought my very first home here in Anna, Texas in 2014 in my mid-20s. It was already appreciating fast back then. And I knew once we started seeing folks like Walmart, Quick Trip, and Starbucks start rolling in, and it was set to explode. Speaking of first home, comment down below the city that you wanna purchase your first home at. And speaking of exploding, wait until I show you a sneak peek of that $800 million lagoon-based development planned for Anna. This is a game changer for North Texas communities and is the talk of the town for Anna. This is still a small town, but there's plenty of charm here and it's growing exponentially. So let's go ahead and dive into this incredible city of North Texas. Let's start with a quick overview of Anna. The major highways in Anna are Highway 75 running north and south. You've got FM 455 going east and west, and then Highway 11 on the outside of Anna going north and south as well. And then you've got Highway 5 going north and south as well on the east side of Anna. Anna is 11 miles north of McKinney and is on the northern side of Collin County. The sixth fastest growing county in America that's expected to have 2.4 million people by 2050. You have transportation corridors in all directions of Anna and a growing infrastructure to support the growth. There's a land area here of 61.2 square miles, a population of 20,243, with a growth of 145% since 2010. There's a median income of 95,000. The trade area is estimated to grow another 45% by 2025. It's the ninth fastest growing city in North Texas. Over 55 homes have been built here since 2015. You'll see many of those homes here shortly. And there's a median new home value of $334,000, according to the MLS. There's a median age of 32, with 27% of the population having some college and 38% having a bachelor's degree or higher. If you need to travel, you're only 15 minutes away from the DFW International Airport. Now that we've covered an overview of Anna, let's go ahead and see what attractions are nearby. In terms of local entertainment, well, there's really nothing directly within Anna, but within a short drive, you are only 12 miles away from the historic downtown McKinney that is often considered the best downtown area in DFW. If you're like me and you're trying to work on your golf game, Hurricane Creek Country Club is only a mile off of 75 and is a beautiful golf course in Anna. Hurricane Creek is a 7,000 yard golf course whose layout is rewarding and challenging for both amateurs and experienced golfers. It's one of the most enjoyable courses in North Texas with pristine bent grass green with beautiful lakes and rolling hills and their state-of-the-art practice facility and experienced golf staff can help golfers at all levels improve their game. Their professional golf staff offers you three PGA members who are willing and able to grow your interest in the game as well as build your skills to help you master the game and bring you more enjoyment. Offering TrackMan, V1 Swing software, as well as a new state-of-the-art short game facility, there is no aspect of the game that they can't help you with. I just played in my first golf tournament ever at Stone Creek in Sherman. Let's just say I could use some major help from these pros at Hurricane Creek. You're only about 15 miles from Allen, Texas, which offers arguably the premier shopping experience in all of Dallas and Fort Worth with the villages of Allen, Waters Creek Village, and the Allen Outlet Mall. For a bit further of a drive, you're also 50 miles away from the American Airlines Center for the Dallas Mavericks games, Dallas Stars games, as well as other major events. You're 62 miles away from AT&T Stadium and Globe Life Field for Dallas Cowboys and Texas Rangers games, as well as some of the biggest concerts every year. And then you're 62 miles away from Six Flags Over Texas and Hurricane Harbor Water Park. If you're looking for a Las Vegas type experience, you're 60 miles away from Choctaw Casino and Resorts. And then for all of your boating, jet skiing, and fishing needs, you're 37 miles away from Levon Lake and 48 miles away from Lake Ray Hubbard. Now that we've seen some of the things to do around Anna, let's take a look at some of the most sought after neighborhoods. You do have some charming historic homes that are on a little bit of land as well. Through July, 2023, the MLS shows there have been 493 single family homes sold in Anna with an average home value of $408,329. The lowest a home sold in Anna was for 120,000. The highest was 1.785 million. This does not include any off-market listings. Again, it's just the raw data directly from the MLS. The average square footage was just over 2,200 square feet with a low of 1,200 square feet and a high of nearly 4,800 square feet. 
The average days on market is 120 days in this market, but that's pretty skewed since many of these closings have been new construction and most builders list their homes early in the construction process. That being said, let's go and explore some of the most popular neighborhoods and learn about the current housing market. I'll be mixing in a newer community along with a more affordable community that has been here since 2000. To kick us off, let's take a stroll through the villages of Hurricane Creek. This is one of the most sought after mixed use communities right here in Anna. The community is close to Highway 75 and is in a prime location for the key growth areas of Anna. This area will include nearly 1,000 single family units, 400 multifamily units, and a collection of garden homes and townhomes. Once this community is completed, it will include plenty of green space, a variety of creeks, ponds, trails, signature water features, open spaces, lookouts, and park areas. It's highly anticipated this community will include commercial development like retail, restaurant, and the first ever hotel of Anna. This neighborhood is still obviously very new and the HOA fees are $1,080 annually and this area has a tax rate of 2.57%. It's zoned for Sue E. Radden Elementary School and Slater Creek Middle School. There are currently a few builders to choose from, including Beezer Homes, First Texas Homes, and a few others. There have been 28 homes sold in 2023, ranging between approximately 2,500 square feet to 4,500 square feet. An average sale price of 669,000 and sold between a low of 519,000 to a high of 750,000. These had an average sale price of $183 per square foot, and all of these closings were built between 2021 and 2023. Our next neighborhood is gonna be an older and more affordable community over at West Crossing. West Crossing is also real close to 75 and has long been a staple community in Anna. You're located just across the street from Anna High School, as well as Slater Park. Slater Park is a true landmark of the community, offering a disc golf course, baseball and softball fields, horseshoe pits, a pavilion, gazebo, playground, a skate park, tennis courts, basketball courts, and a splash pad. There's a million dollar amenity center and resort style pool, so that's great for entertaining with family and friends. This neighborhood is zoned for the Joe K. Bryant Elementary School, and according to the MLS, there have been 69 homes sold so far in 2023. They were on the market an average of 78 days, ranging between 1,500 square feet to a high of 4,233 square feet. There's a low sales price of 314,000 and a high of 692,000. The average bullish price here is $466,114. Homes that sold this year were built as early as 2006 all the way until this year. So there are still brand new construction homes being built. Now that we've seen a couple of the neighborhood, let's go ahead and get a sneak peek into the talk of the town, that $800 million lagoon-based development that's coming to Anna. In 2021, Anna approved the Anna Capri project a project that's expected to bring over a thousand single family homes and over 600 multifamily units, including a massive lagoon. This is gonna be a 2.3 acre crystal lagoon, two sand beaches, one public and one private, a flow rider surf simulator for your surfing and wakeboarding needs, a swim up bar, kids play area, a water slide and a 30,000 square foot commercial entertainment building. Megatail Homes will be the builder here as they have extensive experience with lagoon based communities around the Dallas suburbs. The Dallas Morning News reported that this community could expand to create nearly $1 billion in total value for the city. There are already homes for sale over here starting at $570,000. And as soon as there's more development on the lagoon and the new construction homes, I'll be sure to include those in future video. Now that we've checked out what's likely gonna be the top neighborhood in Anna down the road, let's take a look at Anna School. Anna has a reputable school district with 38 different languages spoken by the student body, indicating a pretty diverse demographic there. According to the school website at NISD.org, there are 5,182 students enrolled. It has a 93% graduation rate. 85% of the students participate in fine arts, 19 athletic teams, and 770 employees. There are four elementary schools, two middle schools, and one high school. This.com gave Anna a B overall grade for schools with an A in diversity and a B for academics and college prep. There's a 15 to one student to teacher ratio compared to the 17 to one at the national level. The closest community college is Collin County Community College, also known as Quad C, with campuses less than 10 miles away and the closest major universities are the University of North Texas in Denton and Southern Methodist University in Dallas. So guys, this is gonna close us out on Living in Anna, Texas. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you have any questions about Anna or would like a tour of any of the homes in Anna, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. All of my contact info is pinned in the top comment below. Do me a favor, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. I believe that everyone should have the opportunity to own the grass they walk on and experience home ownership. And the goal of this channel is to help inform people of their buying and selling options in the Dallas and Fort Worth area. 
So if you can, help these videos reach new people so they're aware of the Dallas lifestyle. If you currently live in Anna, please go ahead and comment below your main reasons for living in the area. And lastly, if you want to check out what another great North Texas suburb is like, check out this video by clicking here.